Hello guys, my name is Unlimited Cop, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can secure your pair of the off-white Prestos. So I will leave a site list linked in the description below. If you have not already, go check it out. There's 10 sites on here, I believe, somewhere around there. A member in our Discord, Danny, made it. Be sure to go thank him. So I'm going to show you guys the best way to cop and also give some resale predictions. And the first release we have is at 3 a.m., and that would be Foot Patrol. And this will be a queue, so you can use a multiple people jig on this. If you don't know what that is, just come up to the top of your screen, hit people, hit add person, and that's it. You can just copy and paste the link in here and create multiple tabs. It's as simple as that. And then the next release we have at 3 a.m. is DSM London. Now this is gonna be eaten up by bots, so personally, if you do not have a bot, I would not suggest going for this release. Next is Soulbox. Soulbox has always just been terrible, in my opinion. Like last release uh, on the Zoom Flies, I believe, I got in through Soulbox, and then they kicked me out because I was trying to add the cart too fast. It's just terrible. I do not recommend it at all. But if you do have a bot like Eve, or I know Project Destroyer also supports Soulbox, I might suggest doing that. After that, at 4 a.m., we have Nike EU. Uh, honestly, I don't know how this is gonna go. I know it'll be a 30 minute draw, I'm not sure Ghost is going to eat the stock, so you manual users might actually have a chance this time. And a little tip I can show you guys, if you want to enter multiple times, just simply come up here to the top, see where it says join. You can make up to four accounts on the same IP address, so I would highly suggest doing that. Just, just make an account, and then you can save it via autofill in Chrome. Just log in and enter the draw four times. After 4 a.m., we have 7 a.m. EST, which is Luis, if are, I have no idea how to say this, I'm gonna be honest. No clue, haven't even heard of this site, but they're dropping the Prestos at seven o'clock, so make sure you're there. I don't have any tips for this site. The only tip I would say is to have autofill. If you don't have autofill, just come up here to where it says settings, right there, click that. Type in autofill at the top. Just click autofill settings and then put in your information. Now after 7 a.m., we have undefeated at eight o'clock. Now this is going to be a pretty big release. There's going to be a lot of bots on here, but I believe they have 300 to 400 pairs. So you might have a good chance. If you do not have a bot, be sure to have autofill set up and go as quickly as possible. Next off, we have Kith at 10 a.m. Kith is going to also be just like Undefeated where there's going to be a lot of bots botting it, but there might be a chance because they have three to 400 pairs. Again, make sure you have autofill if you do not have a bot. Also at 10 a.m. we have Nike US. I believe this is going to be a 10 minute draw. It is not confirmed, but what I'm hearing is gonna be a 10 minute draw. And you can also do the same thing I showed you for the EU release on the US release. After Nike, we have Blends at 10 a.m. This is going to be a very easy release. I think it's gonna be very similar to Undefeated and Kith. Just make sure you have autofill set up if you don't. And you do need an account to check out on Blends, so make sure you have one before the drop. After that, we have UBIQ at 10 a.m. Also, it's going to be just like the blends drop. I'm not sure if you need an account to check out, but you might want to have one just to be safe. After that, at 11 a.m., we have Dover Street Market in New York. This is going to be eaten up by bots, but I believe they have 500 pairs, so there might be a chance for you manual users. And last but not least, we have blends again on the Frenzy app. If you do not have the Frenzy app, just go into your app store and download it. They're going to be releasing at 12 p.m. EST. And if you scroll down a little bit more, we do see the Holy Pop store down here. Now we don't have a link for that just yet, so I will keep you guys updated and be sure to check out the list a couple hours prior before drops to get the updated links. Next thing we have is resell. Now honestly, they're sitting at 700 right now, so I don't see them falling below 400 to $450. There is definitely a lot of profit to be made, even though this is the highest stock for an off-white Nike release, there's still a ton of profit to be made. And with a retail of only 160, you can make easily $200, $300. Now, I would not suggest selling on StockX as the prices will be lower. I recommend selling on Go. If you don't have Go, you should definitely download it. It's a great app. And the sizes I would recommend going for would probably be 11, 11 and a half, and 12. If possible, try to get the biggest size you can as that will have more resale value, but it might be harder to actually sell. As you can tell by the old off-white, we can definitely see that the value will go up over time. So if you can hold them, I would highly suggest holding them for four to six months maybe. And as we can see on the old one, size four and size 14, which is the smallest and biggest size, are going for the most money. That's pretty much it guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button, 
check out the site list in the link below if you haven't checked out the cook group please do that also we will be opening some slots in the near future so if you haven't please go follow our twitter we also have some giveaways going on so be sure to check those out all right guys it's been a little bit of cop and i will see you guys later